Hello everybody, I'm going to present you today how to make an um, sound reactive LEDs without the tip 31C. Alright, so let's get started. How In order like to make now? this um, sound reactive LED, basically what it means when the bass is, yeah. is bumping up, you know, the LEDs are flashing on and off. We're going to need some parts. Alright, so let's get started. First thing first, we're going to need our trusted IRFZ 44N MOSFET, N channel MOSFET. We're going to need as well a 1.2K resistor. We're going to need a capacitor. This is not crucial, but as long as it's polarized, it's not uh, crucial at all. I'm using on this example a 400 volts, 3.3 microfarads, but it's not crucial at all. We're going to need as well a power source, a power supply. In this case, it's an 18650 cell and an 18650 cell holder, like this one. And of course, a soldering iron, a solder, and a flux. All right. And as well, we're going to need a speaker, this one, or if you want to use a bigger one like this. This is not crucial at all. If you want to use a, a bigger one, you're going to have two things. An amplifier and an, uh, sound reactive LEDs. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, it's going to be a diagram soon enough, so don't run away. I'm going to show you to just in a second. Alright, first things, we're going to take our MOSFET. As you can see it here, it's got three pin GDS gain, drain and source. We're gonna take our resistor 1.2K, we're gonna bend it a little bit, like so, you see, and we're gonna solder it to our first two terminals. We're gonna spread them a little bit and adjust the, the resistor and we're gonna solder the resistor across these two pins here. All right. So, let's start. So, as I told you before, we're going to solder the resistor to the middle pin first. Just a little bit to make it safe. And then, we're going to twist the resistor and spread it apart a little bit. Now, we're going to proceed to the next pin which is the first one, as we can look into the uh, MOSFET transistor. Let's make some room, align them properly, and then solder them in place. All right, so we got the resistor soldered between these two pins here. All right, we're gonna take the capacitor and as you can see now, the capacitor has two sides. This is the minus and the other one is the plus. We're going to take the plus and we're going to connect it to our first pin and resistor as well. All right. Yep, we got a connection. So we put the resistor between the first two pins and then the capacitor of the plus size and uh, the minus is going to be open. That means we're going to connect the, our input cable. Now we're going to need an input cable. This is a jack stereo uh, normal cable. But this one, as you look at the, at the pictures here, this one is the negative side and any of these two are the positive accordingly left and right. So we're going to need this bigger one is the minus and any of this stuff is positive. So we're going to use just one of this one. On the other side, there is the, the same terminals. This is the minus and this is plus left plus right. So we're going to use this one and the minus terminal as well. All right, so now we have the capacitor already soldered into the MOSFET and we're going to take the plus from this jack stereo, which is this one, the red one. We're going to attach it to the capacitor, just like so. And then we're going to sort it out in place to be permanent. 
here we go and the minus which is this one is gonna go to the right hand side pin of the MOSFET transistor IRFZ 44N in our case here we go on to the left on to the right hand side pin and then we're gonna take our battery holder which again has plus and minus we're gonna take the minus we're gonna connect the minus to the right hand side pin as well of the MOSFET where is the input jack connected and we are almost done now we're gonna take the, the speaker in our case this is a 6 ohm 30 watt speaker but it's not crucial you can use a small one as well this one has itself a plus and minus terminal so from the resistor connected to the middle pin we're gonna take the minus terminal of the speaker so this middle thing here is the minus and then we're gonna store the minus terminal of the speaker to the middle pin of the MOSFET transistor So it's in place and the positive terminal of the speaker is going to go to the positive terminal of the, the battery over here. So we got our circuit and the positive is going to go to here. So we're going to just twist that one. Alright, so almost all the connection are, are done. Here is the schematic, folks, how I did it. This is the MOSFET transistor with three pins, you know, from the first one and the second one we got a 1.2K resistor, then the capacitor, and then it's got a plus terminal here, which is going to be from the input, which the input is going to be this jack stereo cable. The minus is going to go to the last pin, again to the battery, from the plus terminal of the battery is going to go through the speaker, which is this one. And after the speaker is going to the connection between these two pins and the resistor over here. So there you have it, the circuit is done, we have the battery prepared. So let's make a test. One more thing before you start testing, we did manage to connect the LED string to the plus and minus terminal of the battery. If you don't know how to, to find the polarity of an LED string, just click here, you have a video especially for defining the polarity and stuff. Basically, I got lucky on this one, the, the speaker was labeled plus and minus, so I did connect it accordingly, the plus and minus LED string. But you can use one LED as well, so there's no problem there. Now, we're gonna connect our jack stereo cable to our phone, and we're gonna see if our sound reactive live LED is working or not. So, stay tuned. Alright everybody, so we have connected the um, sound reactive LEDs to our phone and we're gonna search now for no copyrights music, yeah! And let's see! Yeah! Eh? How about that friends? You've got an amplifier and a sound reactive LEDs, yeah! Don't tell me that no skills required. Done it again, man. Yeah. Hmm. 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 Yeah, friends. There you have it, friends. Some reactive LED homemade DIY from no skills required. Yeah. In the meanwhile, don't forget to share, thumbs up, subscribe to the video, and see you on the next one. Yeah. Yeah, friends. Huh? How do you like me now? Woo -hoo! Woo! See ya!